Hello, it's Scott Manley, and we are headed back to Jupiter, specifically the nexus of the Jupiter incident. Yeah, I get a lot of requests to uh, keep playing this game, so we've skipped forward one mission, a mission in which I finally infiltrated or whatever the remains of the Kasaki base and found this abandoned spacecraft, the Angel Wing, which is some sort of alien space technology. We have assigned him this this captain dude who's this apparently pretty qualified for it. He knows all about, you know, quantum mechanics and AI psychology. And also he wrote a bunch of philosophical essays. Um, I'm sure that's going to help him fly a super powered alien starship. Anyway, I can also mess around with my own spacecraft. We have myself and generic officer dude. And you can tweak the configuration. Now, one thing I have been told is you should put energy cells in. That will help. And we can also add an extra squadron of Gemini fighters. That'll, that, that's given us... So we've total capacity 10, available capacity. Awesome, we've done all that. Confirm. And we'll stick some extra devices on the other dudes. Confirm. And more energy cells. Confirm. So this ship has no commander right now. Oh, wait a second. Oh, well, never mind. I quit out of that. Let us start the mission. So what we've been told is that there was a space fleet that left Mars three months ago. And finally, we're seeing it on, you know, in the area, on grid, so to speak. And they're heading straight for the Sunflower base. Uh oh. An enemy hacker has hijacked the minefield. He's wow. all of the mines and Jones Johnny Drake looks a little um colorful. I'll support you with the station's weapon platforms. Uh oh, they're attacking the Angel Wing on the base is my guest. I'd like to have Francis take command of the Madeline. Aha, so he's gonna command the second ship. Yes, because there will be missiles flying. Okay. Come on, I want to shoot at you guys. Wow, that's a big ship. What is it? That's the Yama Mo Yamamoto. So how come the other one was had a big Chinese symbol on it and this one they decide to write in English? I don't get it. Are they losing their cultural identity with the battleships? Ah, oh, look, there's one of my support ships coming out to help me. I guess that's taken on the new, new Captain Francis or whatever his name is. And this is me in the stiletto. Sitting in space, ready to shoot things. Space deck to the rescue. The hacker has jammed the platform. Maybe you fight. So All right. The auxiliary turn I is am going to attack the main. There we go. No. So do it. Do oh, it. Okay, so I can bring up my configuration things, weapons. Warning. We are under attack. Warning, we are under attack. Okay. I'm going to put more power to the engines right now because we're trying to get in close quickly to start attacking things. The Angel Wing must survive. So the engines are running faster. I'm not sure if the, is this my energy? I don't know. But once we get back to normal. Whoa! That is awesome. Man, that's carrot cakes. Yeah, I'm sorry, he looks... He's like George Michael in a day-glow, like, outfit. I totally am taking him for, like, gay pride. You know. He, he's really not doing a great thing. He's not doing a great job of its stereotypes. Okay. Ming! We're all attacking you. And you get a flat gun. Let's attack that. Because taking down that flak weapon will mean that I can launch fighters near you. Actually, that's probably a really bad idea. Let's just attack his hull. And let's put more power in my weapon systems now. I think I can do that with the other ones. There we go. Lightning gets that. Madeline gets more weapons. Oh yeah, look, there's my dude. Francis DeLorean. De DeLorean? Yeah, whatever. Stiletto. And the Angel Wing. Who are we firing at? There we go. Nice. Target tip is being evacuated. Yes, that's what I like to hear. Okay. 
Incoming enemy fighters. Okay, we need to launch. You guys need to attack the Tenbatsu. No, these guys. La launch fighters, engage those fighters. Engage those fighters. Yes. No problem. Of course, because my... Oh, shoot, you come back to base. I'm gonna send them back to base. Oh, good, they're getting repaired. Okay, you fighters engage that. Well, it looks like they've already been blown out of the sky. Okay, what's the tactical situation? We've got the Angel Wing here, Madeline, and that's the Yamamoto. But yeah, I think I think we shot that commando unit out of the sky before it had a chance to do anything of consequence. Good going. Now let's see, Stiletto. Stiletto can use more weapon power. Yes! Now everyone! We're... No. Oh. There we go, select these. All attack the Yamamoto! All firepower! Let's take him down, and now that his flat gun is out of commission, we can launch the fighters too. Engage the Yamamoto. Yamamoto! Yamamoto, yes it is. Yamamoto! What you gonna do? Cause you can't run for me. Oof! Wow, that's a lot of shaking. Yeah, we should take down his engines or something. I wonder if that would make him an easier target, right? Yes, his engines must be out, huh? Yes! Yeah, so I think, uh, I think we've done okay so far. Just enjoy watching this spacecraft die under my, uh, withering firepower. Now you will witness the fully armed and operational weapon systems on this thing. Okay, the stiletto. There we go. We can view... What is... Well, I'm not sure what you can do here. Oh, look. What is this power thing? Power... I can make him go slower. Artillery. Oh, this is range. Can I adjust these things? I guess I can... No, I don't want to do that. I want to approach to firing range. Close range! I don't know what that means. Doesn't matter, we're blowing it out of the sky. I figured out, actually, that the... Or I was told that by holding shift, I can select where I'm going. Not that it matters much. There. I can give exact directional commands to my spacecraft if I so desire. Or I can just continue to click on it and right click attack. There's really not much else to do right now, is there? I guess I can just tell everyone to just max out their weapons firepower to save time. Because there's nothing else to do, right? Yes, all firepower on these people. Oh, I guess the Angel Wing doesn't have weapons. Why is it attacking then? Let's take a look at one of the fighters. Ooh, yes! I've seen things you people wouldn't believe. Attack ships on fire off the shoulder of Orion. Yes. Nice. Well, this one's gonna burn for so long, but I'm not sure what else we can do to make it die faster. Is there a time accelerate option? Groups. Oh, I can create groups up here. I can create priorities. Still totally learning what I'm doing here. Well, Yamamoto is dying. I'm 
You know, this the Yamamoto is a flagship from the Japanese fleet, I believe, in World War II. Probably older. I'm not sure what the derivation of the name is. But it turns up quite a lot in um, in fiction as well. I believe there was a very early anime I saw when I was young, which had Yamamoto as the, the spacecraft. It was kind of ridiculous. It looked like a battleship in space. But hey, you know... Anime has never really been about realism, has it? Is there any way I can make these guys, this thing, die faster? This thing still has its mass driver, we should kill that. Can I... does this have attack systems? Secondary attack, no. Squadron is transferred to another capital ship. Oh, I don't care. Well, as pretty as this is, we shall see. You know what? We should just, since Angel Wing doesn't have any things, we should just tell it to run away from Yamoto, right? Actually, we should tell it. I don't know what we should do. Hopefully, it doesn't run into our own minefield and get killed. That would be embarrassing. Target device disabled. Oh, look, we've disabled something. Accidentally. Let's disable this laser gun. I really still am not figuring out exactly what's going on here. It just seems like I tell people to fire at it and they're flying around in circles and shooting it. It's kind of like Eve, except people aren't telling, you know, dick jokes all the time. And there aren't people singing. I'm not sure I want to be singing. I'm in a rock! Yeah, never mind. You know, it would seem to me that if you're building a warship, having the rotating sections is a liability. And that it would make it hard to actually turn your ship. I would think that if you're building a warship, you would stay away from that. Okay, well... It seems that I did a decent job here. Let's continue. Let's continue to the rest of the story. Now, the briefings, of course, are all messed up, so just listen. I'll shut up because you won't be able to read. Looks like we're... According to the data we downloaded from the Shukenja base, the only research that went on there involved small-time basic projects. The main research base was established near Pluto, using spare components from the Shukenja Alpha Station. Our analysts speculate that alien technologies were researched on Shukenja Beta, hence the ship we captured. The orbits of Jupiter and Pluto are close to opposite at present. The distance between them is almost 6,000 million kilometers. I'm sure you're aware, with our current drive technology, the journey would take almost four years. However, Ouch. if we use the alien ship, it would take only a few weeks. As soon as we have finished studying the engines and the basics of controlling her, we intend to send an expedition to the Shukenja Beta. Wow, well that puts things to scale. You know, in EVE you could certainly fly that distance in, in a minute, but this one... Captain, you know. I am relieving you from your command. Aww. The stiletto, and assigning you to command the Angel Wing on the Blue Expedition. Your task is the same as it was at the Shukenja Alpha. Enter the base and collect information. The crew of the Stiletto uh -huh. will be transferred to the new ship, along with some of our best specialists in the field. Professor Veltman will head your science team. He has been the lead scientist at the Motyan Institute for five years now. He is an expert in quantum physics, has a PhD in transplanetary philosophy, and is Earth's leading authority on parahuman logic, non-linear reasoning, and AI psychology. Those are all made up. E that's just a mail order diploma if you ask me. Okay, I'm Marcus Quan Cromwell. I have a bunch of resources. Do I actually have to fit this ship out at last? Can I put lasers on it? Okay, I have no idea what I'm shooting on these things. I should probably put a flak system on because I like shooting things out of the sky. Um, yeah, I'm just going to click on things. Let's do... A, we've got an astronomical laser. Let's put a space tech laser, uranium, linear, Gatling gun... Get a flak system. Energy cells! ECM. Sensors. More sensors? No, we get no more room for sensors. We can't fit any of these things. We could fit 
beaten up. That we're maxed out of those. We could fit one more weapon, I guess. Maybe not. What would I fit in here? Another laser gun? What's the difference? We have a space tech laser, which does not so much damage. This does even less damage. Uh, this is less precise. Why would I... Yeah, let's take off the astronomical laser. There we go. Aha! You know what? Uranium Gatling gun does even let hardly any damage. The elder, they're all lousy. I'm gonna stick with a space tech laser. A couple of those. Oh, oh, those cost two each. I see. That must be the cost in the last column. Yeah. Okay. Now this is making sense. Do I have a squadron associated with it? Um, do I need commandos and space marines for this mission? This is when it would be nice to actually know whether this is this is going to be needed. Given that I'm going to a base, I probably need space marines, right? So maybe I should... Yeah, let's... let's unmount... Uh, 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 let's unmount this astronomical laser go to my squadrons and put a squadron of space marines in there. Oh wait, well, I've already got one. Ah, I don't need that. Yeah, let's go back with the laser. Laser! Laser, laser. Okay, well, how terrible fit could that be? Let's just see what happens. Let's take a look. Can I look at my crew information? We have him. Oh, he's got a medal. Defend for exemplary achievement and security activities, blah, 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 blah. And then we have Rudolph, who's him. Wow, they really like giving people facial hair in this. Okay. Wait, he's a captain? And, and he's... Wait, there's going to have two captains on this ship? That's not necessarily a good idea. Let's start this mission. Look! Ha 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 ha! Top secret research base. Well, it ain't so secret anymore. Kisaki Beta is within visual range, sir. We are also detecting an unidentified object close to it. And something else, too. Ooh. Ooh. <gasps> uh, this... This is unbelievable. How do you know it's a wormhole? It just looks like a little no twirly thing in space. In our solar system since the Noor catastrophe. Please, sir, we have a duty to inspect it immediately. The regular sensors are unable to get a lock on it. I see. Sir, so I think there's something else you should see. It's an unidentified artificial object. No energy emissions, no signs of life. Perhaps the scanner will shed some light on it. Perhaps it's a badly rendered object asteroid in the background, like the bitmap. Although that, yeah, that looks kind of cool. The station seems abandoned. What shall we inspect first, sir? The station, the wormhole, or the alien object? Well, I would say that the station is the mission. I'm going there first. Because it's the least likely to kill us, right? Let's go there. What is our objectives? It says gather information about beta. Okay. Scan. I'm going to scan the base as well. Data scanner. Oh, F10 provides detailed information about the target. That's called theory. A whole, as a whole, everything has a theory. The more we know about something's theory, the more we understand it. Oh, wait. Theory is like some scoring thing. Okay. Collect secrets. Secrets are valuable pieces of information that could be of great value to you. It is worth your effort to obtain them. Simply click the recon button, then select the target. Okay. You should. So it may happen that someone is going to see it as an attack. Okay. The unit. Where is it? it can, on the target unit panel. Info. Devices. No. I don't know what I'm seeing. More information can be from okay. Let's let's go. Yes, let's do this. 
Where's my ship? Where is my ship, darn it? There we go. We're going to adjust course and start scanning this. Ooh, that was a weird noise. Was that the just music? Are inoperative, sir. We should proceed with caution. Platforms? Can we shoot them, though? Sir, the object is absorbing the majority of our energy beams and re-emitting them as light. Should we carry on with our scanning? Yes. I'm going to totally rescan these things. How are you going to find out more if you just keep stopping scanning? I want to target the weapons platforms and blow them out of the sky just in case. Okay, the data scanner is doing something, huh? It is undoubtedly of alien origin, but I have no idea what its purpose might be. It absorbs all kind of energy, and its mass cannot be determined. In one instant, it shifts from zero to infinite. You're just making that up. Similarities with our ship? No, it is definitely different. There is no sign of component parts, no airlock, no navigational devices. We cannot even detect a weapon. It is made from unknown materials, and its structure is solid and homogenous. Our commanders could take a closer look. How do you know I that if it's reflecting that. everything? It's too dangerous. I think I honestly think he is just making that stuff up. See, you might be able to convince the captain Marcus Cromwell that you know your no, stuff, but you can't convince me because I know all about in-game BS and sh pseudoscience. In position. Okay, we're scanning the wormhole. Let's not get too close. Okay, data scanner. Is there a way to see how my progress is going? It just sees that it's doing something. Sir, this is extraordinary. This is the very same wormhole that collapsed 60 years ago at Mars when we lost the Noah. Oh. I suppose it is where the aliens came from as well. My father perished along with thousands of settlers. It was the biggest disaster of the space age. It sounded like a really dumb idea to put thousands of people into a wormhole. have a look at the other side. Forget it. That is not our objective. Maybe next time. Okay. Only enough enough scan. After scanning, select the jump command and then right click on the wormhole. That's not part of the mission, but that is an interesting concept. I'm not going to jump through it just yet because, you know, bad things happen, right? I've seen. <laughs> I've seen a Event Horizon. You do not want to jump into a, to black holes and wormholes and stuff. Oh, there we go. Special information. There are no signs of life. The life support systems are inoperative. Okay, you know what I'm going to do though? Understood. Let's shoot the platforms. Understood. Just in case they come to life. Yes, sir. I'm just going to shoot these weapon platforms. I don't want them to coming to life and like shooting me. Does this have any? And we still have stuff to scan on this as well. Yes, sir. I guess I have to wait for me to finish. I, can, I don't know why I can't scan and shoot at the same time. Like, is the guy that yes, does sir. the shooting the scanner dude? The energy supplies are active. What does that mean? All communication channels are quiet, even the automated channels as well. It seems that somebody has disabled them, sir. Somebody or something. Can I launch this? Affirmative. Can I send my commandos over? Captain, we have found what we were searching for. There is a structure beneath the surface of the asteroid. It is 10 million cubic meters. It is made from materials Wait. similar to our ship. Wait, 10 million That's cubic meters, hold on. It's where they established the station here. Um, we have to find out what is down there and what became of the crew. Target. We're alive, sir. We're moving in. Right. Ah, no! Command. Ah! Fall back. Fall back immediately. Commanders, do you read me? That didn't go too well. Sir, our 
commandos are dead. Oh well. So much for that. I'm glad I didn't bring extras. <laughs> um. <laughs> the unidentified object. It's moving. Whoa! It's a disco ball in space. Sir, okay. The unidentified object has opened fire at us. Structural integrity is at 80%, and the IP drive has been rendered inoperative. We can't survive many more shots like that. Uh, I would suggest you can only survive four shots like that. What happened? Report. Sir, the computer is activating unknown devices. Someone has broken into the system. Uh-oh. Our ship is locked We're in being hacksawed. Sensor efficiency is decreasing. The object's energy level is increasing. I think it's going to fire. Right, let me do something. No. Okay. I am Tenshi, lead scientist of the station, fourth generation artificial intelligence. I activated the protective shield of the ship. Listen to me. Do not shoot back. I don't think we have that Why option. The, program? the other station's AI went out of control. I am not a program. I will explain later. For now, you will just have to trust me. Your only chance is the wormhole. It cannot follow you there. I can only keep it away from the ship's system for a limited amount of time. It has killed everyone aboard the station and will kill everyone here as well. Ooh, okay. Are our computers under attack? I'm heading to the wormhole. We have a of anomalous readings, sir, but I am not sure how to categorize them. What should we do? I'm awaiting orders. Understood. I am heading towards that wormhole. I'm going to trust the AI because... You know, it seems like a, it seems like a plot device if you ask me. That's what that object is. That alien object is in fact a plot device. Yes, sir. Come on, get in there. Open that thing up. Twist open the fabric of space time and let me in. Let me through to the other side. No. Yeah, I'm saying enter. Flee through the wormhole! Shields are down. Wait, I have shields on this? And now we head into a tunnel of light that is the wormhole. I think it's time to call it quits here before we head into giant cutscenes explaining what's going on on the other side. Actually, I hadn't realized until I jumped that the AI was called Angel. And uh, yeah, I knew somebody called Angel. He, uh, he died today, unfortunately. So the whole metaphor is not lost on me. Well, wherever you are, fly safe.